a marketing rebel, a marketing rebel. I've noticed an increase of people bragging online about putting together seven figure deals. Look, what you see online is not always a reality and talking about putting together a seven figure deal is way different than putting together a seven figure deal. So talking about it is saying that you just had a great idea or you had a great conversation and then all of a sudden it's like, oh man, I just made seven figures. And a lot of people, that's where it stops. That's what they think, right? Because they had the conversation, they had the idea, all of a sudden the rubber meets the road and they got to actually execute. And so a lot of people, what you can learn online is you can see them say one thing and then you can see the patterns of where they're going after that to see whether or not that's something they're truly going at. So it feels great to say they put together a seven figure deal, but it's hard ass work to make that a reality. So, and so I just want to, to point that out. Calling your idea a deal doesn't make it a reality. It doesn't put cash in the bank. Yeah, it sounds sexy, but the real deal is putting in the work to make your idea of a deal an actual seven figure reality. So here's how you gotta do it. So I'm gonna give you a process, very simple process to make it happen. If you wanna enter any market, number one, define the biggest problem that that market has. And once you define what the biggest problem that market has, you have to figure out what the solution is to help them solve it and whether or not you're the person to do it. Now, when I say to find the biggest problem, there's always there's always gaps in marketplaces that you can come in and fill. You can hey, look, I don't, maybe all the industry people are getting lazy, right? And they're not able to, they're getting lazy because the industry's been easy, so they're slipping a little bit. Well, maybe that leaves open a gap in the marketplace and a problem that you can solve. But more importantly, when I say create a solution to solve it, you don't wanna half-ass solve it, you wanna actually solve it the right way so that person's problem is taken care of or that solution gets them from point A to point B at a rapid pace. Now, once you have that defined, and frankly, that's where most people do not spend their time and energy doing, they don't take the time. They have an idea of how they can, you know, go into an industry or create a business. We all have great ideas. The problem is, are you actually, once you have that idea, do you dive in and understand, is there a true problem, a true need in that industry? And is your idea, your solution, the right solution for them? And then after that, then you gotta get to crafting the marketing, right? That's what we like a lot about here about Marketing Rebel is getting that proper marketing campaign in place. And there's so many different ways you can go about it, right? You, depending on the issue, are you doing a, uh, you know, you, the marketing plan could be print, it could be digital, the marketing plan could be, I would recommend digital no matter what, but how you're going about that marketing to make sure that your messaging is in, intact, your messaging is on point, and you have massive clarity in that messaging so the people that have the problem know that you're the one that can help them, right? Marketing helps you actually portray what you're trying to get out to them to help them with. And then once you your marketing starts working, right? Then you're like, all right, awesome, I got marketing. Now I got clients, I got conversations happening, I got people I'm talking to. And then you pick up some clients. So you define the problem, you've created a solution, you've crafted your marketing to attract the right customers to help. And now what you have to do is fulfill on that promise. You have to be able to deliver the result that you told them you would get them through your marketing and you have to do it in a way that they feel good about it. So super important for you to do that. Define the problem, create a solution, craft marketing, fulfill a promise, and most importantly, the one where most people stop. If you get all those four, those first four right and you get them dialed in, where most people fail is creating a great customer experience right so people like re the reason you want to create a great customer experience because people like doing business with the people they know like and trust so they've already you've already earned their trust through the process for them to hire you now they're going to become a repeat customer or a customer who refers people to you to help as well right so entrepreneurs tend to run in packs business owners have other business owners they talk to so if you create a great customer experience that's going to help your business tenfold compared to somebody you've defined the problem you've done all the work you've crafted the market you picked up the customer you fulfilled the promise but you created a shitty customer experience or experience for them coming through your process they're not going to come back for repeat business and they're not going to come back or refer, they're not going to refer clients to you so if once you have an idea or you hear somebody screaming about a great idea in all caps online let 
uh, understand that there's more work behind the scenes. That seven figure idea is not reality until you do these five things. Define the problem, create a solution, craft marketing, fulfill on that promise, and then 100% create a great client experience through that process. So, hey, if this video is helpful, helpful to you, please like, comment, share. Greatly appreciate it. That's how we get our word out to help more entrepreneurs build better businesses.